pause for a moment. So I've been wanting to do a new series and uh, I wasn't exactly sure how to do it. I've tried recording this video a few different times and nothing really felt right. It felt almost a little too preachy. And uh, I, I definitely don't want to come across that way. So I figured I'd start with my own experience. So I'm gonna do a series on iPad productivity. I've been using my iPad as a portable machine replacement now for over a year. I like using my iPad for work because I could do more with it by doing less. I can have less stuff open, which helps me focus more and get more work done quicker. To know if uh, an iPad can replace a laptop for you or even replace your whole computer setup and become your main machine, there's a couple things you need to ask yourself. First up, what is it that you do for work? and will that work on an iPad? If it's things like email, spreadsheets, writing, even light photo editing, the iPad's gonna be perfect for you. Stuff like programming, video editing, even graphic design, there's stuff that's about five years off still. There are apps that can do light versions of all of that. I've done some programming on my iPad. I've also done a little video editing on my iPad, but it's not something I will use every day and it's not something I would replace my laptop or desktop with. Second up is to kind of decide what kind of hardware you use. And I cheated with this. I use an iPad Air 2 and a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. The iPad Pro is basically my desktop iPad. It's the one I, when I want to sit down and do some serious writing, knock out emails, anything that I would do on my iPad, but I want to sit at my desk and do, that's the machine I use. The iPad Air 2, I take that with me if I have to pack up my bag and put my laptop in it for video editing or programming reasons, or if I just wanna sit on the couch and goof around, that's kind of my go-to iPad there. Screen size is probably the biggest deal when deciding what iPad you're going to use, especially now since there is two versions of the iPad Pro. There's a 9.7 and 12.9 inch. But there's also some other hardware to look at as well. I like using an Apple Pencil. I'm not an artist at all, and I don't pretend to be, but I like using it for marking up scripts, handwriting notes, and using it for navigation. My 12.9 inch iPad Pro, I use the smart keyboard cover, which is nice and portable if I ever wanna take that iPad with me. For my iPad Air 2, I have a Logitech keyboard that it's nice, but it is very small. The third thing is finding the right software. There are tons and tons of apps out there and the default apps that ship on the iPad may not be the best for you. I use a lot of different apps and I've spent a lot of money on apps that I don't use now and I don't really regret it. I'm glad I spent the money on there. There's hardworking developers that worked hard on those apps. They just didn't fit with me, but I have found a lot of apps that do fit into my day-to-day -day use that I am so glad I've spent money on. I think for my next video for this series, I'm gonna go into the apps that I use for iPad productivity. If there's a couple of tasks you can't complete on your iPad for your work, don't give up just yet. There are new apps coming out every day, new innovations happening on the iPad all the time. I know I'm still holding out on a few things before I could go full iPad. And to be honest, I don't know if I ever will go full iPad. I love my Mac. I love it so much. But I love iOS and I love my iPad. So if there ever does become a full-fledged video editor out there, I will definitely give it a shot. But just because there's something in your job that's not available yet, keep checking back. You never will know when it's going to show up. Anyways, this is my video on iPad productivity. Um, this is the first one uh, of the series. I wanted to kind of keep it short and just kind of do a brief overview. I think next, like I said, I'm going to dive into apps. And then after that, I may dive into workflow. And if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day, guys.